What is up guys? Welcome back to the Southern Chaos YouTube channel. We are over in OSW. You can hear Big Spanky idling it up right now. We're testing before tomorrow's get it off your chest race. This is the third race in a row with Big Spanky. Coming out Friday night to get some test licks on uh, Orlando's prep. Let's go see if we can shake it down, have a good night. Let's go kick some ass tomorrow. Let's get it done. Park some fresh plugs for Spanky. Got Anthony out there working in the dark. Hello, Mr. George. He's Hello. no good. Hello, Mr. George. This guy's no good. How much you pay? Yeah, our freaking spot. Nobody around. And our freaking light's not working. So that's fantastic. Hey, Mr. George. Light's no good. How much light, you pay? Light's no good. <laughs> so we're going to gap these bad boys down. Just warmed her up. We'll push her up to the lanes, get a fresh uh, plug reading after this pass. And send it to uh, Stefan and Matt, have them take a look, see if we can turn it up some more. All right, guys, I know the lighting sucks. It's it's really uh, it's really dewy out here. Can't even see out the windows, so we got a towel on the front, trying to keep the front clean. I'm not going to make a whole pass. I think if I can get it to stick and go straight and give me a 330 number, I'll probably click it off. Um, but we're going to see what happens. We're a couple people short, which is me and Anthony right now. Um, Anthony's going to try to line me up as best he can and uh, see if we can't click like a 330 number off or something. Oh, 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 my bogging, dude. Bogging. Where are we at? We're on the circle track. Welcome back to the channel guys it is saturday race day we got a little sun out here we are pushing up right now for our first test pass we uh if you saw last night track was iffy uh there were some cars going down some slower like 140 60 foot um wasn't like race day prep so today i think we'll be in good hands um they'll normally get the track back to normal so we're gonna go up there i did loosen the front end back up loosen the front end back up to uh see if we can't get the front end to rise a little bit get a little bit more transfer on the back and uh get this thing to go down and uh matt put it back to our second pass of the christmas tree race so it's a little bit less power um so we're gonna see what she runs get a good a to b see what we can come up with and uh go from there let's get it done like Chris went down. They go down? Shifter's killing me, dude. Was it stuck? Well, made a pretty good pass. It's stuck. It went up a uh, very good 60 foot for us. The car was pulling towards the middle. I had to oversteer it a little bit back, but uh, I felt it lay over 
in the log and actually hit boost cut. We never had to boost that high before. So Matt said the log looked good and uh, we're gonna up the boost safety a little bit and go back out there, and try it again. Car shootout, two hundred fifty dollars buy-in, <clears throat> three thousand on top. Good payout. I feel pretty good. Um, that right there, that second pass was very good. The air is getting better, and the track is getting cold though. Again, like last night, and we just watched um, two um, of our contenders in the clash just spin. So <clears throat> we're heading up in the lane so we can just kind of relax, see what everybody else is doing. And then um, Matt had already taken a pound and a half out of the leaves and um, dropped it 200 RPM to try to dumb it down a little bit so we don't spin. Might even take out some more. So we're gonna head up there now, talk with Matt, and see if we can get this show going first round. Let's get it done. Let's try to get our three wins in a row if we can. All right, so we got Bank Robber, Joey, Waukesha, us, Chris Dealman, and Jim Simmons. First round, I got Joey, unfortunately. I'm not happy about that. Um, Bank robber has Waukesha, and then Chris has um, uh, Tyler Simmons. So that's our six. Let's make it happen. I don't know what happened to uh, my boy Joey, but he did a burnout, sounded good. It's colder than hell out. I think the, I think it said it was uh, like 51 degrees. So I heard him warming it up. I don't think anything mechanically happened, but he did a burnout, backed up, and then um, they told me he broke. So I got a competition by, really. So I don't really know what happened, but um, we're moving on. I think we got a buy to the finals. Um, so whoever wins uh, against, I think he got Waukesha won, and you got Dealman versus Tyler Simmons now, so we'll see what happens. It's very cold. Um, I went in a massive power wheelie, so I kind of, it would have been his race for sure, but hey, that's no time racing. Let's get it. Let's go to the finals, baby. All right, somebody hit the wall, so they're doing a little cleanup. Got the final three. Got Waukesha versus the Raven. And then we got the bye in the back. So we get to race one of these two in the final. Purple on purple. See what's going to happen. Smoke, what's going to happen? Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh oh, uh oh. Tighten the front, uh, the front end up because we had a buy. We three clicked on the shocks, shortened the uh, travel on the linkage, and it went into a big, big wheelie. And I did the best I could to try to pedal it. I haven't, I haven't gone in a monster wheelie with this combo in a while. But um, brought it back down, and uh, I got to the very end of the finish line, and I'm walking around the car because it landed pretty hard. 
um, and I noticed the travel limiter on the ground. Got up under there and looked. The travel limiter that we messed with, the the actual clip fell out. So I got to go up here and tell them it's on the track. But uh, yeah, so the pin fell out, which made the suspension. There was no nothing limited at all at that point, which is why it went to a massive wheelie. But uh, we're going to the finals. Um, Waukesha beat Chris Dealman. I don't. I couldn't see what happened to Chris. I think he might have spun. Um, and then Waukesha got a little bit crazy on the about 3:30 mark. He tried to come back around him, um, but Waukesha and me are in the finals, so it's going to be a good, uh, good little race here. And uh, I need to find a bolt and nut or something to fix this this limiter. And uh, the air is just getting better. It's like negative 1100 DA right now, so pretty wild. So let's get this thing fixed and get in the finals. All right, we're loaded up. I don't know if Anthony, Anthony wants to try to catch the uh, parachute this time. Think you got it this time? Oh! Redemption! <laughs> That's funny. All right, all right guys, so as you can tell, we, uh, they ended up canceling the race, said it got too cold, too dewy. Um, or not too dewy, there was no dew at all, but um, there was just people that were not um, getting a hang on their tune-ups. Um, the density air was absolutely badass for racing, um, and people were just overpowering the track. It was like negative, I think, 1,100, 1,200, um, which is sweet for racing. You know, For boosted cars, it's fantastic. For nitrous cars, I believe it's fantastic. But for like a boosted car, we turned our boost almost two pounds down, uh, leave RPM way down, uh, boost out the back down, and we were still flying, almost going PBs, um, with way less boost than what's normally needed at like Bradington. When it's 80, 90 degrees, the air is 1500 plus, um, not real good for making horsepower. So a lot of people were missing their tune-ups. Um, I think two cars crashed in the wall um, two or three cars spun out in the middle of the track, took out the cones. So they just pretty much had enough, um, and shut it down. So me and, uh, the Waukesha car had to split the winning. So nice little change back in the pocket for the race program and, um, paid for the weekend, paid all, paid all the people that helped me out. And, um, we're looking forward to the next race. We don't really know. We're thinking about going maybe the streetcar takeover. Um, I like the stuff that I like the platform of that event. It's real laid back. Um, when you're not racing, you can go up there and watch some, um, different style classes, so stick shift classes and, uh, streetcar classes and things like that, which is pretty neat. Um, and then also with streetcar takeover, which is a plus that most events, well, most events do, but not all events. It's a guaranteed price, uh, that you win $3,500. <laughs> And whether it's two, three cars or 20 cars, it's $3,500 to win. It doesn't matter. So um, we actually won the streetcar takeover Bradington. I think it was last year or the year before. So it was a good, good event. Um, we plan on going there. Um, don't know if anything's popping up from there till March. So January is over. We just raced. February, we got streetcar takeover. March, we have Troy's Battle in the Bay race, which we got to go try to defend our invitational class and um i think we have a grudge race locked in for friday night which is going to be fun so that's always a good race i don't know what's after that i think april there's a race in atlanta i might try to tackle uh maybe try one out of florida this year see how that goes um and then summer i don't know what we're doing i don't know if there's going to be any pop-up races like Orlando or anything like that where they're going to have a little weekend, you know, one day quick, no time race. I'm not sure, but I'll definitely keep you guys in the loop. Span uh, Spanky ran phenomenal. I drove the best I could. We had a, like I said, you can see in the video, big wheelies. Uh, so it was making big power. Um, the last video where I went into a huge power wheelie, um, the limiting strap 
connector fell out. So we adjusted the suspension. We thought we had it clipped. Clearly not. If you look closely, you can see it in the burnout just dangling on the track. So that is why it just shot up into a massive wheelie. The front end was completely loose on the passenger side. So it's a good thing I wasn't racing nobody because we would have gave it up over something so silly. But uh, other than that, Spanky's good. We're good. We're dialing in for next race. Um, and I don't know who else is going to be able to go, so I can't really update you on that yet. But uh, appreciate it as always. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Keep us going. We're almost up to 5K. Um, and I appreciate it. Catch you guys on the next clip.